Hello everyone, this is Ganesh. Welcome back to Ganesh Jada Automation Studio. So today we are going to learn about the how to do the setup, APM setup for a mobile automation because this is very very important thing and before doing the APM setup, uh, we have a lot of prerequisite. So everything we are going to learn step by step. So what is the first thing we have? So the first thing we are having, let me quickly write down the thing over here. So the first thing we are having, we must need to we must need to must need to install Java version on our system. Okay, so this is the first prerequisite we are having. Then second prerequisite we are having, we must need to install, we must need to install Node.js Node.js on our system. This is this is a fixed prerequisite we are having. Then third prerequisite we are having. Uh, what is the third prerequisite we are having? We must need to install what guys? 8 pm npm also we have to install. Okay, these are the three prerequisite we must need to have. And once this is done, then only then you can able to install the APM on our server on our machine, and then only then you can able to perform the mobile automation. So, how to check the thing like whether these things are installed or not on our on our system? So, first of all, we are going to check uh, like Java version is available or not on our system so let me quickly open the command prompt over here and i'm just simply using over here java hyphen hyphen version so if i'm getting a version number over here it means the java version is successfully installed over here so i don't need to install the java version now if this java version is not appeared on our on your system then you can go to my uh, youtube channel you can watch my previous video i already uh, i already Put the videos over there how to how to install java java on, a, on our system so once we are done with this thing then second prerequisite what is the second prerequisite we must need to install the node.js over here so how to check whether our node.js is properly installed or not our system so for that what we have to do guys simple we have to use node hyphen hyphen version this command we have to use now if we have getting this message it means the node js is not installed properly on our system so now we have to install the node js on our system so what exactly we have to do guys we must need to download the node js version so how to download so let me quickly open the uh, chrome over here and let me open node dot js this website i have to open so once i open here you can see we have a download options over here simply i'm clicking over here on this download option once I click over there on the download option, you have to click over here if, if you are having a Windows machine. So simple click over here on this Windows. If you are having a Mac machine, then you have to click over here. Don't download this zip file because unnecessary you have to extract and everything. Simple just download, just click over there and uh, your, your downloadings automatically happen. So once you download, so you can see guys, once you download, you can see this is how the downloading things are happening. Once your downloading is done, now you can find out the files in your download folder. So you can see guys, uh, uh, I'm, I, I already downloaded this system and I, I already kept this system over here. You can see this is a Node.js uh, file I'm already having. So I'm just double click over here and I'm starting the installation of the Node.js. So once this is done, you can see I just need to click on the next button. Then I just need to accept the terms and condition over here. Again, I have to click on the next button. Again, same, I'm clicking on the next, next next i'm not going to click here and there i'm not going to choose the customers option here simple i'm going to uh, click next or next and just i'm going to uh, select the uh, install options okay now one pop-up is coming i have to just select the s button over there okay and you can see my installation is automatically happen over here you can see so this is an uh, one by one installation is happening guys over here it will take some time suppose if if it is taking some time so no need to worry just just let it be finished and once you have finished the thing you can see guys this is how the windows is coming up over here now my node js is successfully installed over here now once this is done now what exactly thing we have to do guys uh, we have to simple click on the finish button and again new command prompt window we have to open okay so suppose if i'm just searching over here in my existing command node version uh, still i'm getting a same error so what I have to do, I have to use the uh, new command uh, command prompt uh, instance we have to use. And here I have to check node hyphen hyphen version this command we have to use. Once I'm clicking over here, you can see guys, 
this is how I'm getting a path over here. You can see this is how I'm getting a path over here. And if I'm checking where node, so you can see you will get a proper version as well. So this is an node is installed over here in the program files node.js folder. This file is exists. So this is how the properly my node.js is properly installed over here. Now the next thing, what is the next thing we have to install guys? You can see now next things we have to install, which is named as a NPM. What exactly we have to install guys? We have to install the NPM. So whether the NPM is properly installed or not on the system, how to check guys that term? Simple, we have to check NPM hyphen hyphen version, this, this method we have to use. So you can see guys, if, if you are installing the Node.js, your NPM is automatically installed guys. If you are installing the Node.js, your NPM is automatically installed over there. So you don't need to sep do the separate installation of the NPM. NPM will be automatically installed over there. Now still, if you are having some doubts, okay, now like if, if you might have a question, like whatever NPM we install over here, is it properly up to date or not? So guys, for that, what exactly we have to do? Simple, we have to use NPM install. This command we have to use minus. Okay, so 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 this is what exactly, sorry. Uh, so this is what exactly we have to do the thing, guys. NPM hyphen hyphen version. Uh, if if I'm firing this command, it means my NPM is properly successfully installed guys over here with an let, latest binary. Okay, so this is how the NPM and uh, Node.js installation we have to do. Now once this is done, now let's uh, quickly we have to move ahead to the new part which is named as a APM. Now whether we now we have to check whether our APM is properly installed or not. How to check that thing guys? Simple, we have to use APM hyphen hyphen version command we have to use. If I'm clicking this, if I'm firing this command over here, you can see guys what exactly happened. You can see something has happened. You can see that the downloading is happening guys over here. Something has happened at the back end side. You can see I'm getting a properly APM hyphen hyphen version also we have we have getting. Now you might have a question like sir, is it properly installed or not? So what, what exactly we have to do guys? Again, we have to use APM. Okay, uh, sorry, uh, NPM. NPM command we have to use install minus the apm command we have to use so with the help of this command whatever latest binary whatever latest files we have of the apm version it is automatically downloaded over here so this is how the apm installation is happened guys over here you can see from the command line you can see my apm is installation is happen over here you can see guys this is how the one by one is happening here it will take some time but uh, definitely it is going to succeed you can see all the files, all the binaries are properly downloading over here. You can see. So suppose if you are, if you get this kind of warning message, so no need to worry about this one message. Uh, this is just a warning message. You can ignore this part as well. Okay, you can see guys. This is how my proper dependencies are properly installed over here. Okay, once your dependency is properly installed, what is the next part? Now we have to check APM hyphen hyphen version version. This command we have to use, and you can see, guys, you will get the version over here. You can see 2.2.2. This is the latest version you will get of the APM. Initially, we were having 2.2.1 version. Mm -hmm. We were having, but after the installation of latest installation of the APM, you will get a latest version over here. Now this is how basically we have to what exactly we have to do guys. This is how exactly we have to perform the installation. Now once this is done, now you have to start the APM on your on your local machine. So what exactly you have to do? Simple APM command we have to use and based on that you can able to start you can able to start your APM on on locally basically. So you can see your APM is started and your APM is accessible. You, your APM is running on this particular port and you can able to access your APM. This is how the locally things basically we have to perform. This is how guys we can able to install the locally uh, install the APM locally. Now suppose if you want to some like if you want if if if, if you want to install the particular APM graphics user interface because your graphics uh, because of your APM UI will give you the better visibility better understandability. So for that what exactly we have to do guys we must need to install the APM. Okay, APM client also you can able to install. So for that, what exactly we have to do, guys? You must need to navigate. You must need to access the particular like uh, GitHub repository you have to access. So for accessing that GitHub repository, what exactly we have to do, guys? I just need to open the Google Chrome browser again, and I just need to search over here APM 
GitHub download. This is how the file I'm downloading over here. And you can see guys, this is a desktop versions we are having. Okay, so if I'm navigating over here, I'm if I'm scrolling down over here, you can see this is an file we have to download. Dot exe file we have to download. Don't don't download this zip file, guys. Okay, we just need to download this dot exe file. If I'm going to click over here, you can see guys, my downloading is started over here, and you can see this is how the downloading is happened, guys, over here. 245 MB file we are having, and this is how the downloading is happening, guys. Okay, so I'm already having a down. I I already downloaded this file. So where you can able to find out this downloaded file? You just need to go to the download folder and you can able to find out the files here like this. You can see guys, this is a file you can able to find out. So now what exactly we have to do? We just need to install this file over here. So suppose if I'm double click over here, you can see guys, this is how the installation I have to initiate over here. Okay, so I just double click over here and the installation is initiating over here. It will take some time for uh, uh, for for the initialization you can see guys okay so what exactly we have to do now once this uh, gui is open now we have to select this first option anyone who use this computer okay so those guys are able to access the apm so this is what the options we have to select and i have to click on the install machine. once i click on the install uh, install option i'm getting a pop up over here so i just need to again select the option which is name as a yes s option we have to select and you can see guys my installation is automatically happened over here on the back end side okay so if you looked at over here you can see my installation is automatically happened over here you can see this is how the apm server gui setup is going to happen guys guys uh, here our apm installation is completed over here so once i have completed this thing you just need to click on this finish option and you can see guys your your apm is going to start soon okay so this is how basically we have to install our apm so so the important thing i would like to highlight over here we can able to start our apm from the command either we have to from the command line or from the uh, or from the gui only only from one location we can able to start our apm it is not possible like we cannot able to start our apm from the both the side you can see guys now suppose if i'm stopping this apm over here you can see this is how the APM. Once our APM installation is done, guys, uh, what we have to do, we have to uh, install the APM. Uh, we have to open the APM server. So what exactly we have to do? I'm just opening the start button over here, and you can see this is how the APM server UI I'm opening over here. So once I'm opening, you can see, guys, it 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 is loading over here. It will take some time. You can see it is going to open over here. Now if I'm going to start over here, you can see, guys, my APM is successfully start from the UI. Now, if I'm I'm going to start from here, as I told you, you can able to you can able to run the APM from either you have to from the APM GUI or from the command line only. Uh, from the only one platform, we can able to uh, run our APM. So suppose if I'm just uh, running the command over here, which is named as an APM, you can see guys, you will get error over here. You cannot able to run the APM at the, uh, from from the both the location at the same time. You can see you will get an error over here. Clearly, you will get an error over here because your APM is already running over here. Now, if now if I'm stopping the APM over here, you can you can see guys, I'm just stopping the server over here. I just just just, just stop the server over here, and from the command line, I'm again uh, running the APM. You can see guys, if I'm again running the APM, now my APM is going to successfully run over here from the command line because of from the GUI we stopped the APM. So this is how basically. So this is how basically we have to install the APM. This is how basically we have to install the uh, Node.js, npm, and then APM. And this is how basically we can able to run uh, and start the APM server. Now, how to how to automate our mobile automation, mobile test cases with the help of the APM? That part we are going to learn in our upcoming session. So that's it for today, guys. Thanks, thanks for watching.